Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be our 48th part in this particular skill series. And what we have going on here is we have to determine the diameter of this orange circle shown here. And a little bit of information given here that O, A, and B is a quarter circle. It's not quarter circles, it's quarter circle. <clears throat> B to O, is this semicircle right here shown in blue from B to O. And then this blue circle over here is a full circle. And we are given that the radius of the quarter circle is four inches, thus the diameter of B to O here for the semicircle is also four inches. And we have to determine what the diameter of this little orange circle actually is. So, in order to do this, we're going to need to know some information to get started here. So let's start setting up some points. So first off, I'm going to split my semicircle of BO right down the middle, and I'm just going to call that point Z. So this would be two inches up here. This would be two inches full down here from Z to O, since we are splitting this right down the middle there. <clears throat> I'm going to set up this point right here at the center of this entire blue circle. I'm just going to call that x for right now. And then I am going to draw a straight line across here from this line of BO to x. And we're just going to assume that this line is 100% straight and parallel to OA. So we're going to call this y over here where it intersects BO. We are also going to draw a uh, line from O to point x here. Once again, assuming that that is all just perfectly straight and level where it should be. And let's draw another line straight down vertically to the intersection point of this circle with the quarter circle or with the line OA. And let's call that point P down here. And let's just set up some measurements here. Also, I need to have Z to X as well. So once again, another straight line that's supposed to be nice and pretty and straight all the way down there. All right, so let's set up some dimensions here. So from Z to the edge of my semicircle will be two inches since it is uh, the radius of the semicircle. So from the center point to the edge of that circle will be two inches. And then let's call the radius of this entire blue circle right here. Let's just call that capital R for right now. Alrighty, and then knowing these dimensions over here, well, if this is R from right here for the radius, and we're assuming that this line from Y to X is 100% straight, level, and parallel to OA, that means that this height from Y to O is also going to be that capital R for radius. So thus my Z to X will just be two minus R here for my distance from Z to Y. Well, this dimension from O to X, well, if we were to continue this line all the way out here to this point, this entire distance from O to this point over here would be the four inches, which is the radius of the quarter circle. But since this is R, this distance from O to X would just be four minus R then. All right, so now that we have these dimensions and these points set up, let's look at some triangles here. Well, from triangle POX, so from my POX triangle here, where we have P, O, and X, so we're looking at this bottom triangle right here. This is a right triangle with our right angle here because we are looking at straight down, intersecting at a perpendicular angle with O and A here, forming a right triangle. So using the Pythagorean theorem here, the following would have to be true for this triangle. We would have our hypotenuse of OX squared, this one right here, would need to be equal to the two legs of XP and then OP squared. So we would have OP squared plus XP squared. Alrighty, so let's fill in the dimensions that we know. Well, we know that OX is four minus the radius of that circle squared is equal to, we don't know what OP is squared, and then plus XP, which well, XP is just my radius, so radius squared. 
Okay, let's rearrange and try to solve the best we can for OP. We're not going to actually get an actual value here, but an equation. So rearranging here, we would have OP squared is equal to 4 minus R squared minus off R squared. And if we simplify this down, we would get OP squared is equal to 16 minus 8R. Okay, well, can't really do anything with that one. So let's go on to our a different triangle here. And let's look at triangle X, Y, and Z. So once again, we'll be a right angle right here because this is 100% parallel to OA. So from my triangle of X, Y, and Z, I can use the Pythagorean theorem once again. And then I would have ZX squared would be equal to ZY squared plus yx squared. So let's fill in our values here. Well, zx will just be the total of two plus r and then squared, because we have two inches to the edge of the semicircle, the plus the additional r to get to, to point x is equal to, well, zy is just two minus r. So this would be two minus r squared. And then we do not know what yx is yet. So let's rearrange and solve the best we can for yx. Once again, we won't be able to get an exact value here. So rearranging for yx, we end up with yx squared is equal to two plus r squared subtracting off to minus r squared. And then simplifying this down, yx squared will be equal to 8r after you simplify through there. Okay, so why did we do all this? Well, look at where op is and where xy is. So let's change colors here. So looking at where op is, well, op is this measurement along the bottom here. Well, what is xy? Well, xy is the same measurement, just moved up an amount of the radius. So since they are exactly the same, they should be equal to each other, right? So we would have OP is equal to YX because this is our horizontal dimension from line BO to the center. And then OP is along the same parallel line. So we will set these equal to one another and we will end up finding what the radius for our circle, our blue circle actually is. So setting these equal to each other, we would end up with 16 minus 8r is equal to 8r. Well, that's just going to be 16r is equal to 16. Well, the radius is one inch for this blue circle. And that's gonna help us find out what this diameter is for the orange portion here. So keep this in mind. Uh, a few things to keep in mind is this equation right here and our radius of one inch. Alrighty. So we're going to have to redraw and set some more points here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip down and we're going to use a brand new diagram here. All right, so let me switch back to red so it shows up a little bit better. So let's keep our point Z, which is right in the center of BO. Let's keep our point X here. <clears throat> we're going to keep point P as well. And we're going to add a few new ones here. So we are going to add the center, which red on orange, bad idea. The center of the circle, let's just go ahead and let's call that V for now. And <clears throat> let's draw some lines here. So we are going to connect once again, Z to X. Once again, these are all supposed to be straight lines. And then we're gonna connect X to P. And then we are going to connect V to X. And we are going to connect Z to V. Oh, let's just restart that one because that one's just absolutely hideous. All righty. And let's draw here this uh, radius all the way down to the OA, which let's just call that little R for right now for little radius. And then let's draw some horizontal lines that will be parallel to OA here. So we're going to draw one that is parallel here and intersects right there, which let's just call that W. And then the same thing over here, we're going to draw a parallel line 
that intersects through the center at V along ZO here. And let's just call that U. All right, so let's throw on some dimensions here. Well, since U to W to V is all parallel to OP and we are adjusted upwards a distance of R, that means that this little bottom distance from W to P is equal to R. And the same thing from U to O, it is equal to R. Well, once again, this is going to be two inches from Z to O. So Z to U will just be two minus R. And it's going to be pretty much relatively the same type of idea going from Z to V. We are two inches here. Well, we are an additional R there. So the total of Z to V will just be two inches plus R. And the same idea on the X here because this radius for circle X is one inch. And this is once again R over here. Well, we can do the same idea over here. This is one. Oh, this will be one inch all the way down. Well, this up here would just be one minus R because we are one inch from X to P. And W to P is R, so subtracting off R to get X W. Okay, so now we have more triangles forming, but at least these are correlating to my little radius, which will give me my diameter for my orange circle. So we're going to utilize triangles once again, and we have U, Z, or U, V, Z here. So we're looking at U, V, and Z, this triangle right here, which once again intersects at a right angle. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem once again here. So for this one, we would have V, Z squared is equal to U, Z squared plus U, V squared. Well, Z, V, we know it is two plus X squared, where X, oh, sorry, two plus R squared, because R is my little radius here. And then that would be equal to U, Z, which is going to be two minus R squared plus U, V squared. Well, we can rearrange and solve for U, V here. And when you solve for U, V squared, you end up with eight R. So my U, V would just be the square roots of eight R, which is two square roots of two R inches in length. So UV gives me this distance right here. So the whole idea is what I'm doing here, which I should have stated this earlier, is that I know what OP is in relation to the equation up here. Because I know the radius, I can plug this in and I can get OP. Well, I'm utilizing U, V, and V, W, because that's going to be exactly the same length as OP, but U, V, and V, W will have terms of R inside of them, my radius I'm looking for, so I can solve for my little radius. Should have said that earlier. Sorry, my bad. So triangle X, W, V. So now I'm looking at X, W, V, which is over here, another right triangle again. And this time we're going to get V, W in terms of little r. So I would have V, X squared is equal to V, W squared plus X, W squared. Well, let's plug in what we know here. This would be one plus R squared is equal to V, W squared plus one minus X squared. Well, let's rearrange for V, W squared. And when you rearrange and you simplify down, V, W squared comes out to be four R. Well, V, W will just be the square root of four R, which is just going to be <clears throat> two square roots of R inches in length. Well, as I mentioned earlier, OP will be equal to UV plus VW based upon the dimensions and diagrams shown here. They are parallel to one another, just scooted up a value of R. Well, from earlier, we have OP squared is equal to 16 minus eight times the radius of the X blue circle, which was one inch. So this ends up being the square root of 16 minus eight. So OP pops out to be the square root of eight, which is just simply two square roots of two inches in length. Okay. So let's plug in everything together here into this equation right here. So we would have UV, which is two square roots of two R plus VW, which is two square roots of R is equal to OP, which is two square roots of two. 
So we can go ahead and we can remove two from everything here and we're left with two, our square root of two r plus the square root of r is equal to the square root of two. So let's go ahead and let's pull r out of the here and we would have the square root of r multiplied by the square root of two plus one is equal to the square root of two. So I'm going to maneuver up here now. So then I would have the square root of r is equal to the square root of two divided by the square root of two plus one, which would be equal to two minus the square root of two using some algebra here. So then squaring both sides here, I would have r is equal to two minus the square root of two squared, which is equal to four minus four square roots of two plus two, which that gives me my radius of my little circle being six minus four square roots of two inches in length. Well, it was asking for the diameter. So what we're going to do is that my diameter of my orange circle would just be two times r, which would be two times six minus four square roots of two, which gives me 12 minus eight square roots of two inches if you're looking for an exact diameter. But if you wanted to round it off, it would be 0 0.6863 inches in diameter. And that's your answer for what is the diameter of the orange circle. And that's how you would solve this particular problem. And that's just one path that you could have taken um, to find out what the diameter of this orange circle is. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to, I hope you learned a new mask along the way. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel because all that does help us out greatly. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.